I was I was delighted to get the the diagnosis because I was I was I was genuinely losing losing my mind and mm. you know the people around me were were being hurt and you know in particular Edel who I'm living with she's seen the you know the highs and lows and you know just just bizarre behaviour and he told me go away and we'll have we'll have a look because I'm an athlete about medication and I and I just told him straight out I said I'm I'm not leaving your office till. You write me a prescription for for some tablet to to just make me feel better and make me feel like myself again. Did they work? Um, I suppose, like obviously with the tablets, he gave me a lot of coping mechanisms as well. He told me go on research it and you know go speak to a cog- cognitive behaviour uh, therapist. And um, yeah, look, I have been great. I I still have my. My, my bad days, but it, it definitely stabled me. And, um, you know, thankfully the last couple of years I've got a, a, a great hold on it. You know, I, I've, I've found my identity, you know, which I think was a part of the problem as well. I didn't, I didn't know who I was and I was always trying to be other people. I didn't know when I was Keith. I didn't know when I was Hank. And thankfully I can, I can tell the difference now. It's just... First of all, thank you for, for t- telling your story. I mean, it is so admirable and, and, and not an easy thing to do. I really mean that, Keith.